In this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to generate undetectable AI SEO content at scale and publish it directly to WordPress on autopilot. Why would you do this? Well, to build topical authority with Google and grow your organic traffic. So sit back, relax, and get ready to revolutionize the way you approach programmatic SEO. Let's go. Now, just before we get into the how, let's talk about the why. So I'm just over here on xe.com, foreign exchange site. Let's scroll down the bottom and see how they're using programmatic SEO to build topical authority. If you look down the bottom in the footer, you're going to see send money online, send money to India, send money to Pakistan, etc., etc., etc. And there is a page for every one of these terms. And this is generated using programmatic SEO to build topical authority with Google. Now, if you go over to SEMrush and we take a look at XE's traffic, you can see they get enormous amounts of organic traffic. Look at this month, Feb 2023, 156 million organic clicks. But the thing is, you don't have to be a big company to make this work for you. For example, my YouTube channel. If you type in how to rank on the first page of Google, which is a term I use in nearly every video, you're going to find that I rank on Google for that term. I've built topical authority by doing multiple videos around that term. So here, one of my videos, another video, another video, another video, another video. So topical authority and programmatic SEO is a great way to give signals to Google that you own this space. And when people search for it, to send traffic your way. Okay, now let's talk about the how. To do this, we need a tool that can generate content, that can auto post to WordPress, and can also generate a complete list of programmatic titles based on a head term. And as a bonus, it would be great if it had very low levels of AI detection. So Sigma ticks all those boxes. Let's take a look at just a basic blog and how it ranks in terms of AI detection, and then we'll jump into how to do this at, a, at scale. So once you're in Sigma, you just want to go to the stealth mode, which is under mode here. And I've just generated this article. It's how to rank number one on Google. I won't run through all of these parameters, but you've probably seen this kind of thing. If you use these tools, you can add in your target SEO keywords. This AI detection avoidance level, I've got it set to high. Perspective is in the third person. Select appropriate domain. This complexity level, this helps with AI detection avoidance. So I've got this as complex and I've left it in plain text. So I've just generated the article. I won't read through it, but I just want to show you something that is really important when it comes to AI detection in generated content. Now, if I just press copy here and I go on to Grammarly's AI detector and I just paste this in, this is straight out of Sigma SEO and I do a check. Now, I know what you're thinking, 86%, are you serious? That is not good. That is not avoiding AI detection. The issue is how it was copied and pasted. You can see we've got hashes. There's other elements within this text here that really shouldn't be there, that it's, it's behind the scenes and you're actually not seeing it when you copy it. However, take a look what happens if we actually just copy the text, copy it, Paste it in here. This is exactly the same text and do a check. 14%. So it's a huge difference just in the way you copy and paste it. So make sure if you're checking your text, just to copy it and paste the plain text, not the HTML or markdown marked up text when you put it into the detector. All right. So now if we want to generate this type of content at scale, we can do this very easily. Just head back over to Sigma SEO and you want to go to PSO and hit automation. Once we're in here, we can enter in our head term. So for example, how to rank on Google. This is the head term. Once I submit this, it's going to add the last couple of words to come up with a whole bunch of titles around this term that we want to own. Okay. So our programmatic SEO titles have been generated around our head term. You can see we've got 
how to rank on Google fast, how to rank on Google Maps quickly, for free, locally, trends, etc, etc. Now we want to send this over to WordPress. That is pretty straightforward. The only work I've done in advance of this is if I go over to the dashboard and we scroll down a little bit, we can see this WordPress integration. So I've added the domain I'm going to post it to, the admin user account, and then there's the all important application password generated in your WordPress admin account. Now, if you hover on this little question mark here, it gives you the exact instructions to generate the application password. Back over to our PSEO. So once you have your credentials in, you're good to go. Now, by default, it'll be on GitHub here, but we can just click the toggle, select WordPress, then we select all articles. Then just over on the right hand side, this is the Stealth Writer options. You can see at the top it says titles will be processed from selected items here. So we've selected all of them. Now, just like when you're generating a single article, you can select your keywords that are going to apply to your programmatic list of titles. So again, I'll just enter in these keywords, complete these other parameters. Okay, so there's some keywords. We'll stay with English, go for professional, 1250. The domain, we'll go for technology, avoidance level, high, post to WordPress, nearly done. If you want to include a featured image, you can do just toggle that on and the image will be included with the article that's posted to WordPress. Now I've selected 51 articles here to send it to WordPress. All I've got to do is just click this. And that's it. Sit back, relax, go have a cup of coffee, do whatever. And all of that will be automatically posted in draft status to WordPress. Now, rather than waiting for all these to go through, let's have a look at one that I published earlier. So this was sent from Sigma. Sigma <laughs> the, this was sent from Sigma SEO over to WordPress. And this is exactly how it comes in. So, so you've got your the image and an article. It's all correctly formatted in HTML with your H1, H2, bullet points, lists, hyperlinks, whatever. So it's all there. If you want to check out Sigma SEO, there will be a link in the description. I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. That would be hugely appreciated. Now that you know how to generate content at scale, maybe you'd like to know how to generate websites at scale. Check out this video here.